Hey guys, this is Jason and I wanted to give you a quick uh, pro tip uh, dealing with how to use data transformers in Angular. Uh, and they're really useful for a couple places and this is from a tutorial I'm going to be doing on a, uh, how to integrate a back end with front end uh, for Angular. But a lot of times when you reach out to an API and you get kind of a JSON response back, the data that you get, you either don't need all of it or the property names are different from what you want in your application and it's just not, the, the data structure is just not what you want. And so I kind of, there are tutorials out here on how to do this, but I kind of wanted to break it down really simply for you. Uh, so what this is, is just a, um, this is a service method. So uh, it's specifically in a factory uh, and all it does is it gets a bunch of users and uh, one of the things I wanted is the result did not contain a uh, full name the first name and last name but it did contain a first name and a last name and oftentimes what people do is they'll actually inside of their HTML template just go first name plus last name and, and do it there but uh, it would be cleaner overall especially if you're going to use that in multiple places to be able to just say I want the full name so here's how you do that. Uh, first of all, you're not going to use the .get or the .post or anything like that off of the HTTP service. You're going to use just HTTP and pass it a configuration object. You're going to specify the method. Uh, I am using an injected constants uh, object, which is just a constant. It's, it's a string that contains the, um, the base URL for the API call, but you could hard code it in here if you wanted to. Uh, and you can see that's the URL that I'm requesting. Uh, then I'm using this uh, property uh, on this configuration object called transform response and what this is going to receive um, is uh, when you give it a function it's going to receive the raw string data that you get from the server uh, now normally under the hood you don't if you don't include this uh, angular is going to call json.parse for you but when you run a transform response it just receives the raw string data so we call json.parse which is going to convert it into actual you know javascript objects store it into a variable called data check to make sure that we actually got some data uh, otherwise just return and then we're going to say all right now use map uh, now this ma uh, map um, uh, method is added to the prototype by a library called sugar.js which is really useful for uh, these kind of things. Some people use underscore, uh, there's a lot of different utility built kind of um, libraries out there but I like this one because of how it works under the hood uh, and how it extends the native objects but that's where this method comes from. And so when you run map uh, and you pass that a function it's going to receive, that function is going to receive three arguments but the first one which is the only one I really care about here is each individual object of the array that you pass in. So then what I'm saying is I'm going to add a property on every single object called full name which is going to be equal to the first name and last name and then I'm just going to return the full object and that means that I'll have the exact same result had I called http.get and then just grab the URL uh, except now I have a full name property already on the object at the service layer so anything that uses the service will have that property available. Um, so there's a little pro tip on how to transform responses um, using Angular services.